Last night, most of my products started delivering past Christmas day, which means I'll be paying really high cost per clicks just for someone to show up at the product page to find out they can't get it delivered by Christmas, which means they're probably not going to be as likely to convert. And I'm going to be paying these higher cost per clicks without the conversion rate leading to lots of wasted spend. So that means I need to make some adjustments to my bids and budgets. So I'm not spending as much on those campaigns. In this video, I'll show you what adjustments I made and how I did them using Merch Jar. When we get to this time of year, when those delivery dates extend past Christmas and your sales start to fall off a cliff, it's time to make some pretty big adjustments to our ads and budgets. That way you're not going to waste so much money on these campaigns. And you have a few different options at this point of the year. You can just pause all of your campaigns or you can reduce all of your bids and budget to an absolute minimum or make some sort of percentage based decrease as well. I'm not a big fan of ever pausing my campaigns. I would much rather reduce those bids greatly, even setting those to a bare minimum two cents per bid instead of pausing those campaigns. It's okay if you do pause them. I would just prefer to keep them going. I don't want to come back later and try to figure out which campaigns I was running and which ones weren't. So I'd rather keep those enabled and at the bare minimum, just set them to a, a minimum possible bid, which is two cents. What I'll be doing instead though, is just a large percentage based decrease. I want to have some kind of proportional changes there. So when I start re-optimizing them coming out of the holiday sales season, there's still those proportional bids, bids. So I'll still have some higher and some lower based on if they were previously running at a much higher bid and higher CPC to get that optimization working a little bit quicker than having everything start at the absolute minimum making really small increases until we get back to that point you have a few options when it comes to adjusting your bids and your budget you can either use the native ad console where we're at now using the targeting page and management page or use their spread bulk operation spreadsheets as well using native ad console the targeting page you can use to make bulk adjustments to your bids the one issue i have here is that i can't filter to exclude campaigns that are still delivering or still have delivery dates by Christmas. The other big issue is if you have a ton of targets, like here I have over 13,000 different enabled targets and keywords, you can only make adjustments to up to 300 at a time. I've also had some issues lately where it hasn't been running bulk adjustments for whatever reason. So I'm not going to be using this. Under the management tab, this is a pretty easy area to make bulk adjustments to your budgets by selecting all the campaigns you'd like making adjustments. There is still that limit of 300 per page you can only make adjustments to, which I do have fewer campaigns than that. However, the issue I have is that I want to exclude certain campaigns that are still delivering by Christmas, which there isn't an easy way to do here. The other option for using the native ad console is the bulk operation spreadsheets. You can download these for specific date ranges and make all kinds of filters to them to make any kind of adjustments you really need. I'm not going to walk through exactly what that would look like step by step, but this is an option as well that you can do all the things I'm about to do in Mershar through the bulk operation spreadsheets. Mershar just makes that a little bit smoother experience and quicker to do. So we're going to jump right over to Mershar and just run through all these changes. Okay, so we're over at Mershar now and we're just going to be making a few changes. This is a pretty quick process. Now we want to exclude all of our products that are still selling. And I have three right now that are still still delivering by Christmas. So I wanna keep those campaigns as they are. The first thing we're gonna do is reduce our bids on everything that is not those products. So we're gonna start on the targets page here. This is going to be all of our auto campaign targets like loose match, close match, substitutes, complements, as well as our ASIN targets and any category targeting that we have as well. And we're gonna go through and make an adjustment for products that aren't delivering by Christmas. And I'm going to do a 90% bid reduction just across the board. So the first thing I'm going to do is exclude the ASINs that are still delivering. So I'm going to do an exclusion in search, which is minus not colon and then the ASIN. So the, the way this works is it excludes anything with a keyword in the campaign or ad group name. And I've named all of my campaigns for a product with the ASIN in it. So it makes it easy for me to just put in, don't include this ASIN, any campaigns with this ASIN in the title, and it's going to remove those. So I have three of those. So I'm going to just paste the first one 
And then I'm going to add another exclusion by doing the same thing, just space, then not, colon, paste in my other ASIN, and then my third, the same thing, minus, not, colon, and grab the third ASIN. So I have all three ASINs here, and I'm just going to enter, and this should exclude anything that has a campaign name with any of those three ASINs in it. And then I'm simply going to select all of my targets. I'm gonna select all of them from all pages. So this is every target that's not one of the products that is delivering. And then I'm going to make a bulk action and change bid, and then decrease the bid by a percentage. And I started with 90%. Now I've already made this adjustment, so I'm not gonna run this, but this is exactly what I did. And you can just put in the percentage you want to decrease it by. I use 90% and then click change bid. Now this is where you have some options too. You could have this lower or smaller if you want to base it on any metrics. I just did a blanket adjustment across all of my bids that aren't still delivering by Christmas. The other option too is if you wanted to be even more conservative and still not pause campaigns, you can just set the bid to a specific amount too, as low as two cents bid per target and you would just change bid and those would process to and get changed to whatever you have set here. And then I copy what I have in the search. We're gonna to go to a couple different pages to make these same changes. So just copy that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on our keywords page. So I'm gonna to navigate to the keywords and then paste the search I just copied. So it's the three ASINs I don't want to change bids on. And I'm gonna do the same thing with selecting all of my Keywords now in our manual campaigns, bulk action, change bid, and the same 90% decrease. And again, here is where you could set it to a specific amount or decrease decrease by a specific dollar amount. I like the proportional changes with the percentage. So I'm sticking with that. So now that all those changes have been made, the last thing I'm going to do is make adjustments to my campaigns. A lot of the campaign, campaign budgets were increased throughout the holiday sales season. So now that that's over for most of the products, I'm gonna take the budgets on those products that aren't delivering anymore and just greatly reduce those. As there's not really much reason for them to have as high of budgets, I'll adjust those again over time as we re-optimize these campaigns over 2023. So next we're gonna head over to campaigns. And the same thing on our, on our campaign page is just paste in our string that we copied of our ASINs that are still delivering. So we're going to exclude those. And then we're going to start making adjustments to our budgets. And I started by setting a filter to anything with a budget greater than $5. And the reason I'm selecting greater than $5 is I'm using a percentage adjustment of that 90% still and bulk actions and change daily budget. So again, here, this is where you can change by percent or set to a dollar amount. So I started with anything above $5 and made a 90% adjustment. And that would be a pretty big adjustment on any campaigns are kind of in that five to $20 range or so where it'll be, be below even a dollar to for a budget. So next, what I did, if anything was already below $5, I changed it to anything with a budget between, we could just use zero and $5. So this is gonna be the whole range. I set all of these to just a $3 daily budget, which same thing, selecting all, change daily budget, and set to a daily budget. So anything in that small range, I just kinda took everything and brought to a $3 daily budget. And I'm just going to run that again to make sure that everything is set to $3 and I didn't miss anything. And that I'll perform that action and update everything to the $3 that was between the zero and $5 range. And that's it for the adjustments I made for all the products that stopped delivering by Christmas. I keep it pretty simple, just making blanket changes across all the products that aren't delivering anymore, excluding the ones that are. And I'll keep an eye on those delivery dates and do the same process on those products specifically when they extend past Christmas. Hope this video was helpful. If you found any value at all, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.